Yesterday, I, I was here with our pastors. And I was sharing with them from the book of Acts chapter 20 and verse 17 up to that four. And in that portion of scripture, the apostle Paul is addressing church leaders of the church in Ephesus. And he tells them, I am going to leave you. I'm going to go to Jerusalem. And I don't think I will come back. You will not see my face again. He says, even as I plan to go to Jerusalem, I have a witness in my spirit that there, in Jerusalem, there will be chains and tribulations. Then he says, but I am not worried of anything. I'm ready to go and suffer for the gospel. And then he tells the people, I now commit you in the hands of the grace of God and the word of his grace which can make you become partakers in the inheritance together with the saints. So which thing enables you a partaker? The word of God. If you want to inherit things from God, it is in the word of God. If the word of God is not there, if you don't value the word of God, if you don't look at the word of God with great understanding and great knowledge, my friend, things will not be the same. I want you to know that. The word of God is extremely important. The word of God is very important. You need the word of God, beloved. And the word of God is going to build you. The word of God is going to strengthen you. The word of God is give, The word of God has the answer to your problem. Every problem that you have has its answer and solution in the word of God. Now let's go on. Let's go back to chapter. 119 of the book of Psalms. We were on verse 92. Let us read verse 92 again. Unless your law had been my delight, I would then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me what? Life. I will never forget your precepts, because by, the, by your precepts, you have given me life. Let's go on to verse 94. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. Lord, I am yours, save me, because I have sought your precepts. Now, look at this. The psalmist David in approaching God in his adversity, in his afflictions, he tells God, God, I need you. I need you. God, I need you. I need you. You are my everything. I need you because God, I always follow your word. I always do what your word tells me to do. As a student in high school, I will tell God, look God, I take pleasure in your word. Make me the head, not the tail. God, remind me of everything that I have learned. When it comes in exam, let me remember it. I want to pass the exam. You talk to God. Yesterday we were in Matumbuf Girls during prayer day. And I talked to the girls. And I told them, girls, when you talk to God, I talked about the three pillars or four pillars of the miraculous. Coming from Mark chapter 11 and verse 24, which says, Whatsoever thing ye desire. So, the pillar number one is what? Desire. Whatsoever thing you desire. What do you really desire for your life? And is that desire of yours consistent with the word of God? 
Whatsoever thing you desire when you pray. So number two is what? Prayer. And prayer is not complaint. You don't go to pray. Now, let me give you an example. Someone is going to prayer. Two people are in, going to prayer. And these two people are having problems with school fees. And one goes to God and says, God, look at how I'm suffering. Look at Lord, every day they chase me from school and the rains fall on me. Lord, look at... Uh, uh, now, that is one person praying. And another person doesn't pray like that. Another person doesn't pray like that. Another person says, uh -uh, no, this is not how I'm going to pray. Another person says, Father, I come to you. I am your child. I love you. I worship you and I serve you. I am a student and it's you who gave me the opportunity to be in high school. I am inviting you to come into my situation and supply my school fees for this year, which is 40000 And Lord, because I am still in school next year, another 40000 for next year. Now you say, God, I don't want to have trouble next year. My school fees for next year is provided for. My school fees for this year is provided for. John has been selected to go to Germany. Our son, John. And, and when, they, when the school notified me, he's going there to study there for, from next, next year. And I said, because definitely it requires what? Money. I did not, I am not afraid. I've told God, that, because there are so many children in that school, but they selected on John. So I say, God, that doesn't trouble me. Because it's not me who selected him to go to German. It is you. <laughs> now, because it is you, I thank you because you have provided for it. And I've told God, if you ask Mama, every evening we pray for John. And I, I've, I've, I've told God anything about his education, about his finances, Lord, it is up to you. I don't struggle. I'm not worried because he is not my project. He is your project. You know, you need to grow to that level. You need to grow to that level where you pray and commit things to the Lord. You know, Jesus said, I mean, the Apostle James says, you don't have because you don't ask. You don't ask. And if you ask, you ask for wrong reasons. You ask for wrong reasons. So, when God speaks to me in his word, when you think about the word of God and you allow the word of God to guide you into everything, in everything that you do, my friend, you will never be depressed. You are beyond stress. None of you here can be stressed. You have the ability to hang on the word of God. When stress comes, you remember the word of God. What does the word of God say? Cast your burdens unto Jesus because he does what? He cares for you. So you will cast your burdens unto the Lord. You don't have to be troubled over anything. You don't have to. Our chief is now a student. Chief, you don't have to worry about university fees. You just commit it to the Lord. You say, God, you gave me the opportunity to go to, university, uh, to go to university. I thank you because you have done what? Provided. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Your grace is sufficient for me. You are El Shaddai, an all-sufficient God. You, 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 you thank him. You are a father. God is a father and every father delights in the welfare of his children. Praise be to God. Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.